Rendo Ramanda Rabaka Dabaha Ramando Rabahale Beko Rabashi Tebe Sinde. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, precious Lord. You are worthy of all things. You are all glorious. You are all magnificent. And there is no one like you. And I thank you, Father. I thank you for your grace and I thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Rebando Koshata Zeme Kurabashi Tebe Hita Rabando Rota Ramande Resa Tarabato Roboshi Ramanda Baba Kurabashi and the Remesi Hando Kurabashi. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You are worthy of all things. You are worthy of all things. Thank you, Lord. Renda rabashi kadaba ramando rosa tarabandi. Re kadaba roshi kelebe hindo rosha tele remenda. Remrando se kadaba rabashi ramande sende ke rabashi kerebendo. Let Hagaribe Hito Koshata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. As you are coming on, you can just send me a hello in the comments box so I can see you. I cannot always see who's coming on. But welcome to lunchtime prayer with the Holy Spirit. As you are coming on, I want you to share the prayer because everyone needs prayer and you just partner with the Holy Spirit as you are sowing prayer into someone else's life. Hallelujah. The Lord is here and the Lord wants to bless you. The Lord wants to pray with you. He wants to pray for you. So welcome everyone that is coming on. Um, if you want me to pray for you, I can just send me a, a message in the comments box or inbox me. I will gladly pray with you and pray for you. Prayer costs nothing. Hallelujah. So just for a few more seconds as we are waiting for more people to come on, just start turning your focus on Jesus. Start turning your heart towards Jesus. Just start praising, start worshiping, or just start praying in the Holy Spirit for about two more minutes. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Just start praying in the Holy Spirit. Start worshiping. Start posturing your heart towards the Father. Hallelujah. We've come from, it's Monday, it's busy, it's hectic, but these moments, this, these lunchtime prayers... We just want to be so intentional and just quiet all the busyness and just focus on Jesus. So welcome everyone that's coming on now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The Lord bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Riando kurabasha terebe hendo. Rando loro kurabasha talaramande. Zeba rukurabanda ramande kiando seta rabate le rebendo. Zika ndale mandosa tarabande siando. Father, I thank you that we can once again come together on this Monday for lunchtime prayers. These prayer sessions has become so important. They have become so vital. And I thank you, Father, that we have, we have prayer. 
as a communication with you, as an uplifting, as an encouragement, Father. Thank you that we can come to your throne with boldness. Thank you, Father, that prayer is a weapon in our hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for, for protecting us throughout a weekend. Thank you for your grace and your mercy has been sufficient for us. And I thank you. I just posture my heart now towards you, my Father, in gratitude and in thanksgiving. For it is the perfect will of God. And I say thank you, Father. I bless your name with a heart of thanksgiving for my brothers, for my sisters, for the church of Jesus Christ. Thank you that we do not pray from a place of being defeated. We might feel it. We might feel discouraged. We might feel defeated, but we are not. Because Jesus has secured our victory. Jesus has conquered everything that we ever need conquering for. And right now, Father, we're stepping into that which Jesus has already done. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I bless your name. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that whatever heaven has um, ordained for this prayer meeting today, that it will be so. That the hearts that you want to touch will be touched in the name of Jesus. I submit myself right now, precious Holy Spirit, to your leadership, to your leadership and to your Lordship. I pray have your way. Use me as a vessel of intercession as it pleases you, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Share this prayer meeting. Bless someone with prayer and partner with the Holy Spirit by sharing this with someone else or tagging someone in this prayer meeting. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you are making these platforms available to us that we can stand in the gap in prayer in whatever way you want us, Father, to use these platforms. Help us to use it with much wisdom in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And may it never be for the glory of men, but only for the glory of God. You alone deserve the glory and I magnify your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I was just um, before coming on, just spending some time with the Lord and just asking him, Lord, what do you want me to pray for today? Because the Lord always comes and he gives me specific things. And if he doesn't, I just go with him and I just allow him to do whatever he wants to do. But, you know, the Lord reminded me of a story that I followed over the weekend of a young man of 22 years old that was in a car accident and um, his family was looking for him. And unfortunately, I saw this morning on Facebook that he was found deceased at um, one of the shopping malls here, Mimosa Mall. And my heart just went out for this family. And I've been praying over the weekend. I've been praying and saying, Lord, please let him be safe. Let him be safe. Let him, his family get to him. But unfortunately, he was found deceased this morning. Um, and my heart is still in prayer with this family. And I just feel, I really feel just such a weight to pray for those who are are in mourning those who have received sad news those who are grieving right now a loss of a loved one a loss of something that was so precious to you and it might not even be just a loved one just a, it might be a job it might be just something a friendship 
something that you held on so to so dearly that meant a lot to you i want to pray for you because i want you to know that god is close to the broken hearted that is a promise that he gives us and if your heart is shattered for whatever reason today i would like to pray with you i would like to pray for you there is so much hurt that people are going through and you i want you to know that you are not alone you are not alone and as you are hearing the sound of my voice and you are experiencing some kind of grief because of something that happened or someone you lost or something that you lost that you've lost i really want this prayer to encourage you to uplift you that you might know that god says in his word he will never leave you he will never forsake you and god is true to his word he is not a man that he should lie hallelujah and I really feel like that is what he's placed on my heart to do for you. And that when you, when, when you are listening to the sound of my voice, that you will really hear the compassion, the love of the Lord for you. And this, might, this prayer might just be an answered prayer for you. You might have prayed and, 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 and you might have just asked God for something. And this might just be an answered prayer to someone that you might know that you are on the heart of God. God is such a good father. He is such a good father and he cares so deeply for the things that we suffer. He cares so deeply for the hurt that we go through, for the grief that we suffer. You know, he knows exactly how that grief makes us feel hallelujah so before i pray i want to read psalm 34 from verse 17 i want to read that to you from in the message translation is anyone crying for help god is listening and he is ready to rescue you if your heart is broken today you'll find god right there if you're kicked in the gut, he will help you catch your breath. Sometimes we get ourselves into trouble, but still God is there every time. He's your bodyguard. He's your keeper. He's your comforter. Shielding every bone, not even a finger gets broken. Hallelujah. I want to read till there. And I want to say to you, is anyone crying out to God for help? And I want to assure you that he is listening and that he is ready to help you. Father, I thank you. Thank you for the reassurance that you are close to the brokenhearted. Thank you, Father, that you know exactly the grief and the pain that each one is suffering you understand it because you went through it first you went through it first and i want to thank you that your arm is ready to rescue us when we are in need of your rescue that you are right there when we need your comfort when we need your help you are right there and I want to pray right now, those of you who think that God has forsaken you, that God has left you, he has been with you all along. He has not left you. He has not forsaken you. And I pray that that, will, that truth will come and resurrect the hopelessness that has, that has gone dead, the, 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 that hope will be imparted in place of the hopelessness that you have been experiencing in this time of grief. You might have received bad news this morning, yesterday, maybe it's a few years ago, a few months ago, but your, your grief is still so real like you've just received that news today. 
and you don't know how to overcome it. I want you to know today that God has assured us that morning may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. He's busy restoring the joy of your salvation, but you must let him. You must want him to rescue you because he's standing there and he's waiting to pull you out. He's waiting to lift you up in the name of Jesus. We do not mourn like those that doesn't have hope. We have a hope, an everlasting hope in Christ Jesus. You do not have to grieve like there is no tomorrow. God is our hope. He's our source of hope. Hallelujah. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Even the trauma that has caused you grief. The trauma of the thing that happened to you that you cannot get rid of it. It has called, caused you so much pain. I pray healing right now to that area in your life, in your mind, in the name of Jesus. I literally hear the word numbness. Like your body is numb because of the pain that you are experiencing. The grief that you are experiencing. It has you numb. But I pray for strength right now in your body in the name of Jesus that you will grab a hold of God in this time, in this season that you feel and ex that you are experiencing grief and pain, that you will grab a hold of God. Hallelujah. He is the source of your comfort. He's the source of your healing. Hallelujah. He's the one, the Bible says, that comes and wrap, wraps his arms around us to comfort us. In the name of Jesus, I pray against the spear. I pray against the spear right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that you will entrust God with your pain, that you will entrust God with your sorrow, that you will entrust God with your grief, that you will entrust Him with it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You are a mighty great God, yet you care so much about the little things in our lives, the details of our lives you care for. And I thank you for that precious Lord. I thank you today. The Bible says that God catches our tears in a bottle. He writes up that which have brought us sorrow. That is how much he cares about what you are going through. You do not have to feel alone. You do not have to feel like you're going through this battle, this loss alone. Hallelujah. Thank you, precious Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Your intention, Lord, is not for us to go through these things. You did not create us to go through these things. But because we are in this world, we will suffer loss. We will, we will experience pain and grief and disappointment. But you, oh God, you have given us the promise of yourself as a comforter, as a counselor. You have given us the promise that you are the one that catches our tears because our tears are so dear to you you are the one that turns our mourning into dancing you are the one that promises us that weeping may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning you lord you my god my father you knew that in this world we were not exempt from these things and that's why father you yourself come and you comfort us. 
and you give us promises to hold on to in the times when grief comes, when disappointment comes, when hurt, when hard times comes, we can hold on to you, the source of our hope, our healing. You, my God. Thank you, Father, for that. Thank you that you have thought of everything, Father. And I pray right now that, that those who are experiencing this hurt and disappointment and grief, that they will cry out to you. That they will cry out to you knowing that you will hear them, that you will rescue them, that you would comfort them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You want us to cry out to you. You want to help us. And I pray that we will cast our cares, those things that are laying so heavy on us. There's hurt, there's grief, there's disappointment. You say, cast your cares upon me. I will take it off of your shoulders. Run to me. I am your strong tower. I am your refuge. I will protect you. I pray right now, Father, that we will run into your arms. That we will not allow anything to separate us from you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, there is such a peace and you know I, I just I am experiencing such a, a love such compassion from the Lord right now such a compassion that my heart has not felt in a long long time and I want to encourage you that that is how the Lord has compassion even more, I this what this compassion that I'm experiencing. It's just but a drop in the bucket that what God's heart has towards you when you are suffering, when you are going through hurt, when you are going through disappointment and grief, and you have so many questions, you don't understand why this is happening or why this had to happen. But I want to encourage you. That God knows he's right there with you. You do not have to suffer this alone. And I pray for a community of people to come alongside you. To come around you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want to read one of my favorite Psalms that I've come to love so much. In the Passion Translation. Psalm, Psalm 62. I want to read this psalm and I want to declare it over you. And I really want you to, when you are listening to me reading this, that you would see the heart of God for you. Hallelujah. I stand silently to listen for the one I love, waiting as long as it takes. For God to rescue me. For God alone has become my savior. He alone is my safe place. He's your safe place. And I love this next verse. His wraparound presence always protects me. For he is my champion defender. There's no risk of failure with God. So why would I let worry paralyze me? Even when troubles multiply around me. But look at these who want me dead. Shouting their vigorous threats at me. The moment they discover my weakness. They all begin plotting to take me down. Liars and hypocrites with nothing good to say. All their energies are spent on moving me from this exalted place. Pause in his presence. 
I am standing in absolute stillness, silent before the one I love, waiting as long as it takes for him to rescue me. Only God is my savior and he will not fail me for he alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me as my champion defender. There is no risk of failure with God. Hallelujah. So why would I let worry paralyze me? And we can put in there, so why would I have grief paralyze me? Why would I have disappointment paralyze me? Why would I have pain paralyze me? Why would I have hopelessness paralyze me? Even when troubles multiply around me, God's glory is all around me. His wraparound presence is all I need. For the Lord is my savior, my hero, and my life-giving strength. Trust only in God every moment. Tell him all your troubles and pour out your heart's longings to him. Believe me when I tell you, he will help you. Pause in his presence before God, all the people of the earth, high or low, are like smoke that disappears, like a vapor that quickly vanishes away. Compared to God, they are nothing but vanity, nothing at all. The wealth of this world is nothing to God. So if wealth increases, don't be boastful or put your trust in your money. And don't you think for a moment that you can get away with stealing by overcharging others just to get more for yourself. God said to me once and for all, all the strength and power you need flows from me. And again, I heard it clearly said, all the love you need is found in me, says the Lord. And it's true that you repay people for what they do. All the strength and the power that you will ever need, it is found in me, says the Lord. And I pray this psalm as an encouragement to you that it will uplift you, that it will strengthen you, that it will breathe new life into you, that it will breathe new hope, a fresh hope into you. And most of all, that you will experience the love, the compassion and the rep around presence of God Almighty as you are finding you in this situation of hopelessness, grief, disappointment, hurt, whatever it may be, that you will no longer allow it to paralyze you, that you will no longer allow it to, to cause you to be numb, but that you would become still in the very presence of God and that you will call out to Him knowing that He wants to rescue you, that He will rescue you, that you will wait in His presence for His arms to come and grab a hold of you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you that you care so much. Forgive us, Father, when we have put our trust in, in ourselves, when we have put our trust in someone else to help us, to comfort us, to rescue us. Forgive us for not asking you help, Lord. And you want us to ask you for help. And I repent, Father, 
on behalf of myself, on behalf of my brothers and my sisters, that we will from this moment remember where our help comes from, that our help comes from the Lord, no matter the situation we find ourselves in, no matter the amount of grief, hurt, that we are experiencing, that we can at any time run into your arms. That is our safe place. A strong to you, our strong tower. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are continuously interceding on our behalf. Thank you, Jesus, that you are continuously defending us before the Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us so much. Thank you that you know who needed this prayer today. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, precious Lord. The Lord loves and cares for us so much. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. Jesus loves you so, so much. He leaves the 99 and he runs after the one. His love is continually pursuing our hearts. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that peace be multiplied, grace be multiplied. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give Jesus praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your name is glorified. Your name is lifted up. You are worthy of it, Lord. You alone deserve it so much. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I pray that you experience the peace of God that I'm experiencing right now. you Jesus peace be stowed to every storm in your life peace be stowed says the Lord in the name of Jesus thank you for praying thank you for coming and standing with me in this prayer I'm praying with the Holy Spirit and allowing the Holy Spirit to pray for you to pray through you God bless you God keep you God make his face shine upon you hallelujah and remember jesus is lord and he loves you unconditionally hallelujah god bless you my sisters and my brothers